Hey guys, hey, you know what day it is? That's right, it's nifty freaking tool day. Today, right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic, we've got a fresh set of nifty tools for you guys to enjoy. Quite a few wrenches that I've picked up over the last couple weeks and a new snap-on light. So stay tuned and we'll get rocking through these. So for those of you who are just now tuning into the channel, every once in a while, usually every other week or so, I like to have a Nifty Tools of the Week episode, where I go through some newer tools that I've picked up over the last couple weeks and have got a chance to use, and maybe these tools are going to be the ones to be able to help you guys out, just like they help me out on my day-to-day -day job working as a mechanic here at the dealership. So today I've got uh, quite a few different wrenches here. If you guys know and have seen my toolbox tool tour before, uh, you'll know that my wrench game was kind of on the weak side. I had enough to get by, but I'm missing some, and these are the ones that I picked up here recently to be able to fill in the blanks of what I was missing. So first up here on the list, we have this set from Matco. This is the flat wrench set. Part number is TW8047M. This is a seven piece wrench set ranging in size from nine all the way up to 19. These are extremely handy. For those of you guys who are working in really tight quarters, you find yourself not being able to get these gear drive wrenches or even a standard wrench onto a fastener. You just have a little bit of room and you need to tighten up or loosen that bolt just a little bit more, but can't do it. You don't want to get a, you know, a pair of pliers on there and mess the threads up. So we ended up getting these from Matco. As you guys can see, they're extremely thin here compared to what would be the SP Tools wrenches that we've got, really, really thin. And you guys would think, um, well, I would say they're gonna be pretty flimsy and floppy. No, that is definitely not the case. Even the smallest one here, I really have to try hard to get these things to even flex at all. And I've got no flex back to where uh, they were at before. So this kind of set is really good in those certain areas where you just can't fit a full size wrench and need to have that set where you guys can get them in. Uh, the set is a little bit on the costly side from what you guys would think that it would be. Uh, runs right around $150 on the Matco truck. Now I'm sure there's a couple of other manufacturers out there who might come out with something like this or make them, but because of the Matco guy coming to my shop and having these exactly when I needed them, I ended up picking them up from him. And I would definitely recommend them for you. Um, one of the biggest things that I ended up using these on was a fuel pressure uh, regulator on a Cummins. There is like little to no room between uh, the snorkel and the fuel pressure regulator. Can't even get a standard wrench onto that one. So this one helped out big time this last week working on that Cummins. I would definitely recommend for you guys to pick up a set of these today. Moving to a slightly larger set, and it is our second set of wrenches for this evening, is going to be from SP Tools USA. This is their 12-piece metric 15-degree offset reversible with speed drive ratcheting wrench set. Uh, this is going to be a 12-piece set ranging from 8 millimeter all the way up through 19 millimeter. Comes in this nice little to-go case where you can roll it up and strap it on together and you're able to take it wherever you need to go. Now, if you've seen the other wrench sets that I've done reviews on before, ranging from the Matco all the way to the Snap-on ones, you'll know that price is a big difference between these ratcheting wrenches. These are a 72 tooth design and they also have a really small work area for the switch head. It sits really flush, nice, even with the head. Uh, it is a 15 degree offset wrench and the actual mechanism inside of these, you guys can hear, is a very nice fine tooth 72 tooth ratchet set. You've got five degrees or less for, per each tooth to grab to them. And the really cool thing about these wrenches is not only do they have that high quality ratcheting into them, but we've got a somewhat speed drive ratchet version for the open end to them. 
The design that they have here on the speed drive ratchet is really quite ingenious. I know there's been quite a few other manufacturers out there, but I've used some here and there. I haven't done any reviews on them, but I notice how they slip a lot and slip quite easily. The teeth on this one are actually quite grippy and I've not had one slip yet. You can see the actual mechanism here. It is able to kind of slip ratchet one direction and grip in the other. And then all you would have to do is flip it around. It's gonna slip the one direction and grip in the other. This has a very amazing finish. No uh, misses to any of the chroming on the inside. So you're not gonna have any chips come off and slipping on any of the fasteners. As you can see, this is one that is already actually pretty rounded and very well beaten. So it has gripped onto this one extremely well. Now you're not gonna get any kind of grip, kind of like an FDX socket style, but in those areas where you just don't have enough, say open space to get the full size of the ratcheting box wrench on there, you're just able to put this on there and ratchet that fastener loose or tighten exactly how you need it without the space of needing uh, to use that ratcheting portion. The other deciding factor that you might wanna look into this wrench set for is the cost. Now, if you're gonna compare this one to like a uh, Matco set that is gonna be from just standard eight millimeter all the way up to 19 millimeter without the uh, speed drive end to it, just a standard end, they're gonna run like right around $395, $400. And then if you go to the snap-on like 82, 82 ratchets, uh, the ratcheting wrenches, they're gonna run upwards of $520 for that whole set, over $500 for a ratcheting wrench set. These ones are gonna knock you out of the water at $241. I will be sure to put the links down in the description below if you'd like to get a, your hands on a set of these today. I definitely would recommend them and they've saved my butt already this week. Make sure you guys check them out. Third on our list of Goldilocks style adventures on wrenches, we've got the Big Mama Jamas. Where the last set of SP Tools USA wrenches ended at 19 millimeter, this set picks it back up. 20 millimeter all the way up to 32 millimeter. Part number on this set, it's an eight piece metric drive set. It's gonna be SP10118. Also comes in this nifty little carrying package where you're able to roll it up and take it wherever you need to. Double straps here to be able to Velcro that one together because of the weight of it. Same style design, just in a bigger package. You can see these quite a bit better. They are very, very heavy duty and very well made. The ratcheting wrench mechanism and the switch panels are gonna be just like the other set, except for this style is going to be the standard open end wrenches. They do have the standard open end wrenches for the smaller ones, but those are the ones I uh, was able to uh, view today. 72 tooth ratcheting, and when you're talking about ratchet wrenches that are in this size, they are hard to come by, especially in quality ratcheting wrenches. I had picked up a couple of them just to fill in the sizes of the ones that I need prior to this. Uh, not too many manufacturers make ratcheting wrenches anything larger than really 24 millimeter. Uh, they do have some in the cheaper brands, Husky, uh, Proto does have a couple of them, but also very expensive and usually don't come in a nice set like this one. The finish on it is also fantastic. Just like before, 72 tooth design, you can hear these big ratchet wrenches click away. I was able to use this set uh, this last week doing a couple of alignments, uh, getting into some of the front suspension components on the larger diesel trucks, the 5500s, the 4500s, and they were just absolute beast. There's not too many times when you need wrenches like this, at least in my portion of the field where I'm at, but when you need them, you really need them, and a high quality set like this is fantastic to have in your arsenal. Now, when you were talking about price-wise on these, that's where they also seem to shine. If you're buying these in a set, which is really hard to find in other manufacturers, you're gonna be spending upwards of 600, 650, maybe even 700 bucks for large, really high quality ratcheting wrenches. So if you buy them individually for the cheap ones, normally you can find those online for about 35 to $40 a piece. 
this high quality set all here what you need uh, it does skip a couple of sizes here in between there uh, but it's really comprehensive to what i've found that i'd need them for i really didn't find that i would need anything else that is missing in this set uh, where this set shines is going to be the price on this one uh, normally they run right at 400 dollars, but right now sp tools is running a sale on these 312 bones is what you can pick up this big boy mamma jamma eight piece ratcheting wrench large set four so i will leave the link down in the description below where you guys can go check these out for yourselves stepping away from our goldilocks stories of finding the right wrench for you we're going into the light we've got a new light from snap-on this is the snap-on ecard062 this is the upgrade from the e-carb light that i have been previously using and absolutely love same generic style but just a little bit bigger a little bit brighter a little bit better if you're able to handle the extra we'll say two and a half to inches of length on it not really much different in width maybe an eighth of an inch difference there not really that bad but this one does have quite a bit of a difference on illumination out the front as you can see dual button design the upper button is going to turn on the end of the flashlight that's going to give you a 300 lumen spot lamp right out the end just as a standard flashlight you can hold the button and it's going to be able to uh, dim up and down to what you need it to just like before also it is USB-C chargeable, just like the e-carb light also, so you're not going to any kind of different chargers or anything along those lines. Uh, battery life I've found on this one has been pretty decent so far. Uh, the battery must be upgraded from the e-carb light because even on full illumination on both lamps on this working inside, I've got about three and a half hours of use out of it. And then when we flip up the beam here, we've got two beams instead of just the one on the e-carb. The lower button here is gonna activate the first side, and then we hit the button a second time. It's gonna activate the light on the other side. A third time is going to shine it on both sides. Also able to hold the button, and the lights are going to dim, bright, and flash on their end points. Hold it again and the light will get uh, more bright to that extent. Uh, when you shine just one side of this light, you're gonna be looking at right around 600 lumens of light, holding it out with two lights going out inside of a vehicle, you're gonna be working that with right at 800 lumens, which is fantastic for a handheld light in our working area today. Now, the only differences that I don't like between the difference of the e-carb and the e-card light is gonna be the battery indicator. The e-carb light has these indication points. We'll step up right here across the front and there's gonna be four little LEDs across the front here. They're gonna be green, green, green. You get down to the bottom and it's gonna go out. So you can tell at which state of charge that one's at. The e-card light has one single light. It's going to turn on when it's on and off when there's little to no battery power. It'll turn on green when you're charging or you're at full charge and then go to red just to tell you it's on. That's about it. So there's not really any kind of indicator for your battery life on it, which I think that kind of sucks especially when you get into the price point of 150 bones for a light. Um, with the uh, standardized rating on this one being pretty much waterproof on top of it is why I ended up going with it. I drop my lights in coolant and nasty stuff all the time. So having a light that is nice, reliable, and as bright as this one is definitely needed even if I have to pay for a premium on it. I definitely recommend it even though the negative part of the battery indicator but it's been working absolutely perfect for the last two weeks of me using it, and I'd still recommend for you guys to give this one a try. And now we move into our bonus round. On the Matco truck this week, after I ended up purchasing, uh, or a couple weeks ago, after purchasing the, rat, the wrench set, as well as a couple other things that will be coming very shortly for upgrades on the toolbox, uh, we ended up getting a little dog treat here. 
This is actually still going to have a standard part number, MTC dog bone, for that wrench loving dog that you might have. Nylon dog bone sold by Matco. I think they, if you were to sell them, uh, I think they're like five or 10 bucks, um, but my Matco guy was cool enough and he gave it out on promotion for purchasing other things. Something neat that if you guys know me, I'm a dog lover and my dog's gonna love this one. That's about all I've got for this week in the way of nifty tools. Now, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the channel over the last couple of weeks, one of the videos that you need to check out is my review on the SP Tools Mini Impact half inch gun. So I did a review on this one this past week and I teamed up with SP Tools to do a killer giveaway for all of my subscribers. I will put the link to that video down below in the description as well as in the card above. I went in depth on all the thoughts that I had about this impact gun and how absolutely amazing it is. It might even get you guys to switch back to using some air tools again for to try this one out. So with SP Tools, we're gonna to be doing a giveaway. We're giving away a brand new one of these mini impact guns along with a five piece stubby socket set along with it. We're gonna be doing the drawing for that one next Thursday coming up on the channel. Make sure you guys flip over to that video to find out how you can get involved in getting a free half inch mini impact gun. The three things that you're gonna have to do is be subscribed to the Rust Belt Mechanic, subscribe to SP Tools USA over on Instagram, and in that video's uh, comments, you're gonna put the words, enter me. That's all you gotta do to be entered to win this $250 value SP Tools Mini Impact Gun. If you didn't wanna wait for the actual giveaway to come along and you guys really liked this impact as it is, over on their site, they run right around $300. But with the code RBIMPACT right here above, they're gonna be running a sale for you, 250 bucks, you can get one of these all on your own. I've got some really amazing things coming up on the channel coming up, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you can get notified when I come out with cool, awesome videos just like this one today. We've got more coming up for the Duramax, working with some amazing companies on that one. We've got some lighting coming for it, as well as some toolbox uh, additions here for the Snap-on one at home, as well as some organization for the SP Tools one, and hopefully a SP Tools toolbox tour for the house as well. Make sure you guys stay tuned in for that one. The biggest thank you this week is going to go to you, my subscribers. We are coming up on the 19,000 mark, which gets us ever so close to that big old 20,000 subscriber mark. And I have something huge planned for a 20,000 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You guys won't believe it when it comes out. So make sure you guys share some of these videos and get some people to subscribe because the faster we get to 20K, the faster we can get to this massive giveaway. I want to thank you everybody again. I appreciate it. And as always, you guys stay awesome.